Welcome to Rans Lab Fusion Retail 6 video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the designing of window printing files. Go to Sale Management, Transactions, and Sale Invoice Scan POS. Click on the Display button, or you can also press Alt D from your keyboard. It opens the display mode of the sale voucher. Select any one of the transactions and press enter to open the transaction. Now click on the preview designer button or you can also press alt V. The software will open the preview designer. At the top of the designer you can find the menu bar. It is the icon to create a new page to open an existing file to save a file. This is the option to choose fonts. Click on the list box. You can see the available fonts option to change the size of the fonts. This is the option to make the text bold, italic, underlines. In order to change the color of the text, click here and select any one from the available colors. If you want to change the background color, click on the background color option, choose from the custom colors or from the web colors or from the system colors. Now come to the left side of the screen. This is the toolbar. You can see the pointer, then the label control. We can drag and drop a label control and write anything in the label control to display it on the report. The checkbox control, the rich text control, the picture box control. In order to print a logo in the receipt, can use the picture box control. At the bottom of the picture box control, we have the panel control. To print a table in the receipt, we can drag and drop and use the table control. Just below the table control is the line control. We can draw a line in the receipt by using the line control. Similarly, we can also draw any shape using the shape control. You can also use the barcode control. This is the zip code control. At the bottom of the zip code, you can find the chart control. In order to display the reports in the receipt in a chart format, you can use the chart control. Now below the chart control is the pivot grid. Below the pivot grid, there is option for crossband box and crossband line. These were the options from the toolbar section. Now come to the right side of the screen where you can find the report explorer. Expand this header, page header. You can find already used labels the panels and the other controls that are already being used in this file. The report explorer gives the detail of the control used in a file. The right hand side of the report explorer is the field list option where you can find numerous data sets. These are the variables which carries the values. You can use any of these variables by dragging and dropping it in the report. The property grid. You can click any of the controls within the page and go to its property section. 